Hi friends, welcome to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing vitamins. There's lots of vitamins out there, but today we'll be focusing on vitamins A, B, C, D, and E. Let's jump in. Let's start with our first vitamin, vitamin A. Vitamin A is fat soluble and plays an important role in functions throughout the body. The key functions of vitamin A include vision, immune function, reproduction, and cellular communication. Vitamin A can be found in animal products such as liver, fish oil, eggs, and dairy, and plant-based products such as fruits and vegetables. Now let's think, how may a deficiency of vitamin A present in a client? Think about all of the things that vitamin A helps with. So in a deficiency, we may see blindness, increased susceptibility to infections, and impaired growth and development in children. Great job. Let's move on to vitamin B. Vitamin B is made up of lots of B vitamins, so it is known as a B complex vitamin. The different variations of vitamin B work together in the body with their own specific roles. Vitamin B1, or thymine, converts carbohydrates into energy. It also aids in cardiac, muscular, and nervous system functions. B2, or riboflavin, helps provide energy and metabolizes fats, drugs, and steroids. B3, or niacin, aids in energy, DNA repair, and hormone synthesis. B5, or pantothenic, aids in over 100 enzyme reactions in the body, including amino acid metabolism, neurotransmitter synthesis, and hemoglobin formation. B7, biotin, aids in metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. B9, or folate, is a crucial one in pregnancy. It aids in DNA synthesis and cell division. You'll find it in prenatals because it's crucial to helping babies and infants develop. Last but not least, B12 cobalamin aids in DNA synthesis and red blood cell formation. There are so many B vitamins, what sources can you get them from? Overall, B vitamins can be found in whole grains, meat, fish, and poultry, dairy and eggs, nuts and seeds, and fruits and vegetables. When someone has a deficiency in vitamin B, you'll likely see a decrease in their energy, nerve function, and specifically with a deficiency in folate or B12, you may see anemia and neurological problems. Moving on to vitamin C. When you think of vitamin C, what immediately comes to mind? Orange juice, yes. Vitamin C is water soluble, and an important factor is the body can't produce it on its own. It must be obtained from the diet. Its key functions include antioxidants, immune support, collagen synthesis, wound healing, iron absorption, neurotransmitter synthesis, and antiviral properties. It has a lot of functions, so it's important our clients consume a healthy amount. So where can we educate our clients to get vitamin C? Citrus fruits, there's that orange juice again. Strawberries, kiwi, mango, and papaya. It can also be found in bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and tomatoes. That was vitamin C. Let's move on to vitamins D and E, our last two vitamins. Vitamin D is fat soluble. Its key functions in the body include absorption of calcium, bone health, immune support, cell growth and regeneration, mood regulation, heart health, and muscle function. I actually learned recently that vitamin D is seen more as a hormone than a vitamin because of how it interacts in the body and is so important. Vitamin D can be obtained through exposure to the sun, dietary sources, and through supplementation. Vitamin E is fat soluble. Its key functions include antioxidants, cellular protection, immune function, skin, heart, and eye health, and cognitive functions. Vitamin E can be obtained through nuts and seeds, vegetable oils, green leafy vegetables, fortified cereals, and supplements. Great job reviewing these vitamins. I know that was a lot. These are our references. As always, thank you so much for coming to review this topic with me. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our nursing content review videos. Also check out Blueprint Nursing's self-paced crash course and live study group options. See you next time.